Uh, the rock in the building. Khalid. Hello, Ed here with MSN Movies. We're at the world premiere of The Dictator. Sasha Baron Cohen, a.k.a. General Aladdin, is going to be here in a matter of minutes. We don't know what he's going to do yet, but uh, watch this space. For over four decades, the people have lived under the rule of a tyrant who denies them their most basic human rights. The time has come for him to step aside. We must keep on with the NATO mission and bring him to justice. I am for free press, fair elections, and equal rights for women. <laughs> I can't say that. As soon as the beat drop, we got the streets locked overseas. A Punjabi MC in the rock. I came to see the mommies in the spot. On the count of three, drop your body like it's hot. One, young, two, you, one, two, three. Young hoes, a snake charmer. Move your body like a snake mama. Well, I sort of expected, I, I felt from the very beginning this movie could have global impact. Yeah. You know, only we would take on subjects like this and try to make a big comedy about it. So I was hoping that the, the worldwide audience would get excited about it, and hopefully that seems to be working. P-I-M-P, I am simply attached to the track like simply, but simply good. It's just so much fun, It's out, and it's an outrageous time. Could you please take your hands off my breasts? Those are breasts? I thought you were a boy. I accept your job offer as general manager. Well, you can't be the manager because I'm the manager. Well, I can if I killed you. Okay, well... It needs to be really, really laugh out loud funny for it to work. Okay. Now, the movie will not work if that part doesn't work. Then, all of, that, all of the serious themes that would normally be used for comedy are wrapped up in that humor. Those themes then become much more palatable. So hopefully it's a good combination. <laughs> Welcome to England. Jachnoon, I think you wonderful to be here. Do you have a message for the people of Great Britain? You know, the people of Great Britain, I love Londini. It's a great place. My friend Mohammed Al Fayed, he has just come in. You know, I love the royal family. In fact, Princess Diana was a personal friend, to cut a long story short. We had a child, his name is Harry. From his mother, he inherits her pale complexion, and from me, he inherits his enjoyment of dressing like Nazis. get back to Wadiya, what's the first thing you'll do when you get home? You know, I like to go have a shower and do a small execution. Oh, very nice. I'm very joking, nice. of course. Do you have a bunker? A bunker? Uh, there's only, I have a black hole that I shared uh, with Saddam uh, called Naomi Campbell. Okay. She was very reasonable. I can definitely say that Doing movies like that or being a part of movies like that are very important, you know. He does all his thing character and it is fun. It makes it um, a lot easier to, to do the work because he's already in character and is very funny and very committed and it makes it a lot easier to, to be in scenes with somebody who is so focused and so hilarious. Well, he had to be in character for eight hours in front of the camera doing scenes with hunters, with guns, with white supremacists, people like that, and stay in character. So he has incredible stamina, incredible focus. So that's it, I have met General Aladdin. The news is that he does have a bunker, he shared it with Saddam, and its name is Naomi Campbell. 